Good day, all the bodies. Thank you for joining again. I just thought I'd share with some of the walls that I found, this being the second episode of uh, hopefully a long journey of me and YouTube. And um, just some of the things I found while here. This is wool that I put in my suitcase from South Africa. It is a 50-50 acrylic and cotton. And I thought I'd give it a test run, thinking more cotton, more sturdy. It's lovely and soft, but obviously I don't know if I'm going to find it here in New Zealand. So we've got a few balls of that. Uh, this is what I'm currently using for my sheep. So I bought it at Spotlight in Auckland. It was on special, I think it was $4 a ball, which is a bit more expensive than South Africa. South Africa is quite a big variety of acrylic yarn, um, New Zealand. It does, but I haven't found them yet. Um, I like to feel wool. If I know what I'm working with and I know the brand that I'm looking at, I can go online and order all the colors. That's not the issue. I just need to find the right one before I go and do my online order. I visited a yarn shop um, that's in our area. Beautiful yarn. Wool. I think there was Merino. They had possum yarn. I was oh, completely out of my brackets because I thought this was so wow and interesting. Although I couldn't exactly use a Farmagurumia. Yarn nevertheless. It was lovely. What an adventure. And um, this is the normal sort of cotton that we use on the Spokdoks on my previous episode. Um, they normally use a much thinner one. I prefer it a little bit thicker. Just because with the little ones, they tend to fiddle with the edges, with the patterns. And once they pull it, it just comes out so quickly. Also, it um, hucks on things. It gets stuck on things very quickly. But the thicker one, much more sturdy. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm testing it out. And um, so far, so good. Obviously, my previous one was a little bit nicer. I used to use Paul Skein from L. And, um, yeah, I do miss it. However, on search for new yarn. And um, I did post a message on a local Facebook group. And some of the people were very, very kind. They gave me their suggestions. A lot of the people also use acrylic purely because of there's an allergy with it being one of the cheaper types. With Amigurumi, you can't just do five balls in one color for a project. I mean, just my little sheet that I'm busy with, that's already four colors, as in beige, off-white, pink, and black for, you know, eyebrows or whatever the case may be. That's just beginning. And if you see some of the projects on the toys, it's a starter of five colors. You know, some are much more, but it is a general, I'd say, minimum three colors. So, yeah, you got to get something that you can afford for your budget that helps you and obviously gets the toys made. When you do Amigurumi, I think those who do it will know that you don't do it for the sake of reselling. It always starts with a craft. And when you start your craft, Everybody comes to Amigurumi for their own reasons. Mine was because I'd been crocheting for years and I was tired of blankets. But more so because I got to a point where all I did was work. And I mean, I'd come home and pull out my laptop and do work that I didn't have to do just because I could. And this brought a sense of calming to me although I would not crochet if you are not calm people say oh it's very calming if you're not calm put the hook down you're going to make nonsense best you have to be in the right mind to crochet but once you are there pure bliss everybody has their own bliss mine is on the couch series going crocheting trying to keep the balls away from my child which is a game but um all in the laugh, hey? But uh, going forward, I am very excited to keep on finding more wool shops. I have been to, like I said, the one, and that was pure wool. Um, yarn shops, a lot of the people have said, look out for spotlight specials. So I have become a VIP member. I registered online and going through the stuff. Best thing, obviously, go there, feel it. If you like it take it a step further um, 
or with watching other videos, the best is to get a few different types and give it a test run. I know that Leprosy Train Saint Crochet, which I love, she did also little balls and she made little tags and she crocheted this the ball just to feel how the wall went. So I intend to do that. And I might get too excited when I get to the next ball shop and th that idea goes out the window. But it is my intention. So we'll work, <laughs> work on that one. Going forward, we are starting to discover New Zealand. We are acting like pure tourists. We went to the front beach. And uh, I'll put some photos up if I can get the video editing right on how that went. Just might add, New Zealand has the best ice cream personal opinion and yes thank you for joining me until next time thank you